Well, hello. Uh, good afternoon, morning, evening, whenever you're watching this. It's afternoon for me. Uh, it is a blustery afternoon on a rather cold week. It's, uh, it's kind of the middle of March right now. I don't actually know if we're technically in spring yet or if it's still winter. Uh, it's starting to look like spring though because this tree did not used to be this bright, brilliant green a few weeks ago. And uh, the, the yard's not quite come back yet, but I feel like we're getting, starting to get a little bit of greenery showing up in the woods. But who knows, it's just an abnormally cold week, so it's kind of weird. It was, we've had really nice weather the last few weeks and then it is freezing this week. Quite literally, below freezing every morning. Anyway, uh, I am out here in the backyard to get started on yet another project. So, you'll notice there's currently no boat here where there normally is. That's because it is up there. Moved it out of the way because, as you've seen by the title of this video, I have a carport to build. Those are the roof panels, and here is the, the steel tubing that's the structure of it. And this all got delivered over the last couple weeks. So it is time with fishing season fast approaching to uh, get this sucker set up so that uh, it's ready to go. Uh, it's gonna be really, really nice to not have to cover it up every time, like mess with the cover every time I take it out. Um, and also equally importantly, like when I'm prepping for a trip, that way I don't have to like come out here, uncover it for an hour just to get in and re-rig and do stuff and, and get ready. But then I can also leave it. I, I would run the dehumidifier and stuff when I had it under, you know, under its cover. But it's just, like if I had to do it all that, if I had to do it that way all the time, it would be okay. But it's gonna be so much nicer to just back it in under a carport and be able to just open hatches and let stuff air out and not have to worry about keeping things dry and all that. So, but I got a little bit of cleaning up to do before I am ready to start kind of scoping out the ground here one of my big tasks that i kind of started on a little while ago and have stopped because it's been so cold and nasty out uh previously is cleaning up putting away like materials that i store for work i uh, have a lot of different you know materials for decks and um, beams just anything left over that's okay to be stored outside but covered up i have built with the assistance of one of my guys uh, built a storage area underneath of my shed. So we got these racks down here hanging from the shed and uh, really good storage for a lot of things. Like some things we're actually gonna be using up. All these deck boards that were over ordered a while back, we're gonna be using those up soon. Um, so just various things. Um, this stack right here is all 100 year old lumber that I pulled out of a house or a couple different houses over the years. And you know, it's on that one day list to make something cool out of. But, so we cleaned up all under the shed, like underneath the shed, if you remember from back, like when we first moved in, was just disgusting. We've gotten the disgustingness up to like right here, but I've still got to clean up all of this mess. But these little white standoffs for holding rebar up off, uh, off the ground in a concrete slab application is what all those trash bags up there are full of. I don't actually remember how many of these things I have, but there's a lot of them. And I'm only saving them because I'm hoping to sell or, you know, sell them versus just pay to have to throw them away. So we'll see. But I've got more cleaning up to do down there. I've got to move these, but right now I just need to clear out this area and then start getting, kind of getting a feel for how I'm going to need to prepare the surface for the carport. That is my job for right now. So let's get into it. All right, I got the bundle opened up and inventoried all the parts to make sure we have everything, which we do. Cold weather isn't gonna stop a couple girls from playing with squirt guns, though. Hey, Dad, can we squirt each other? Sure, I don't care. Now how are you trying to squirt me? <laughs> <laughs> also, once I cleared out this whole area, I went ahead and dropped the mower Dropped my mower, mower down to like a one inch and buzzed this whole section right here. <laughs> Definitely gonna need to do a little bit of leveling because uh, it's the it needs to sit nice and level, of course, so that it's not twisted and you know everything lines up right. Three days later. All right, so I ended up actually changing my mind a little bit on where I'm gonna put the carport. I've had this dump trailer 
sitting here on and off the last couple of weeks while it's in between job sites. And I realized that I actually really like being able to just back up the dump trailer here. The boat has been living up there for the last couple of weeks ever since I moved it out of the way to start preparing this area here. But I'm actually going to do the carport back here for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it gives me a place to put this trailer if, it, again, it's in between jobs. Most of the time, I'm the one who actually takes it to the big commercial landfill that we uh, dump debris at. And so sometimes I will be the one to take it there and then I'll bring it back here and it may sit here at my house for a few days, a week, whatever, however long until it goes back out on another job site. And this gives me a place to put it where it's not in the driveway, where the kids are starting to ride bikes and uh, scooters and stuff a little bit more with the nice weather. So of course that will continue over the years as well. It's a nice, nice big driveway for them to ride on. So I'm gonna get this thing laid out and start putting it together so that I can have the boat under cover while not having to actually put the cover on top of it. So I'm opting for just making these straight instead of just level because it'll take way less time to just simply make each base straight in its own spot than it will to try to level this entire thing. Worst case, if I get if I get to the point where I'm like trying to put roof sections together and this is it's just not working because I haven't done a good enough base. I can always adjust and basically shim this stuff up, put concrete underneath of it if I want to. Um, so I'm not like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna get to a point where I have to like tear a bunch of stuff off because I didn't start with like a perfectly flat and level uh, base essentially. So I'm hoping that just having each track like this in a nice straight line, making sure they're square to each other of course, but making sure that they are just straight and not sagging at all is gonna be adequate. So this, in, in, the first time I've ever assembled a carport and I know I'm probably not doing it the right way, but I'm doing it the way that I think is gonna work out okay and I'll eat my words later if I have to. It's a wild gremlin, a wild dirt gremlin. <laughs> She's always very proud of how dirty okay, she can get herself. Okay, do that. Hmm. It's so crazy. Me. I'm a princess. I'm the princess. princess. Alright, frame is up. I actually had my wife come out here and help me. Camera was off. So I had that corner. And that corner staked 
and then I put I drove a couple stakes in on the outside of the rail on both corners on this side to make sure that these were exactly 12 feet apart which is where they're supposed to be and so what my wife helped me do is something called pulling x measurements or pulling x's however you want to say it but it's something that i learned a long time ago for squaring up a structure we use it a lot for decks uh, at work and or i mean any any framed structure really yep. the principle okay. is if you have two sides i mean granted this is i'm creating a a box as it were but normally it would be you you would have sides as well like four sides of a, a structure and once you get the two long sides perfectly parallel with each other which i accomplished by measuring 12 feet from the outside over and then staking to make sure this could not go any farther to the right then what you do is you take a long tape measure and you pull from one corner to the opposite corner Hi. see what the measurement is and then you switch corners and go this way and in my first measurement i think it was three and a half inches off and all you have to do is then you just slide the structure half the amount that it was off by basically this side was too far that way so i pulled it this way about an inch and three quarters or so and after a little bit of tweaking got it where we had the exact same measurement from that corner to here as we did from that corner to here so knowing that the two long pieces are perfectly parallel to each other and the x measurements are the same that means our structure is perfectly square so when i go to put roof panels on it should all line up and they shouldn't be like all twisted and and uh should be perfect